Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and today I've got a quick video on our rabbit hutch. How we put it together, how it works, and all that great stuff, so let's get cooking. So on our homestead, we are always on the lookout for a better way to do a thing cheaper, better, faster, uh, more efficient when it comes to meat. Uh, you can't really beat rabbits when it comes to the amount of food that you have to give them versus the amount of meat you're gonna get back. Super high in protein, so we started doing some research around looking and seeing how to put together a hutch, how to take care of the rabbits, and what to feed them, and all that kind of stuff. And so today I'm just gonna walk you through uh, what we've done uh, and what we've had great deal of success with so far on our rabbit hutch. So without further ado, here I'm gonna show you what we got going on. Well, here it is, here's our rabbit hutch, built mostly out of pallet wood. That's right, used pallet wood, laying around on the side of businesses, go in and ask them if you can have it. We cut it up, built it up, you know, just nailed it all together. I mean, we basically only had uh, to buy the shingles and there was a couple two by fours for the framing. Uh, but right now it's very cold outside, but it stays nice and warm inside the uh, rabbit hutch here. And I'm gonna show you inside. One thing you'll notice is that um, I've got some screen here that during the summer we open up so it gives them nice ventilation, but during the winter we close it up with towels and insulation. And that helps keep the rabbits nice and warm inside there during the winter. Hi guys. Well, here we are inside the rabbit hutch. And these are some of our newer ones. These guys are only about four or five weeks old and they're getting huge. But let me show you how we put this together. All right, so what we did was we built these cages out of the regular old wire you can get from Home Depot, Rural King, Tractor Supply. And they basically get banded together with these, um, these little metal bands, if you can see them right there. And there's a tool that you get and you just crimp them together. And basically that's that. But now check this out. This is, this is pretty cool. We took some of this corrugated material that's plastic and we ramped it down away from the next cage down. So this guy doesn't get pooped on or peed on or anything. So this guy up here can do whatever he wants, slants down, no big deal. And then drops down to the bottom here where see all that down there we collect that up compost it becomes great stuff for your garden and it's easy to clean out now one note up against the back wall if you can see there's peter he's a sweetheart okay so but up against that back wall we did put a tarp so that if they spray or anything it doesn't get on the concrete or or uh, soak into the concrete of the uh, house because that would be nasty. But here we go, I'm gonna back up again show you just a little bit more. So there it is, how you can see that we've got them stacked and slanted. Each rabbit has plenty of room. They stay nice and warm in there. And it's really, really efficient. You can, you can separate the girls and boys, you can separate the mamas from the babies when it's time, or if they're gonna have babies, you can put your little uh, nesting boxes in there, which I'll show you next. Now here is a mama waiting to be. And you see, we basically built her box and we supply them with lots of hay and they will take and build their nest in there. But then right before it's time for them to have their babies, they'll actually pull hair off their own bodies and they will build a nest out of that. So that is a nesting box there for this happy bunny. All right, a couple notes on rabbits, uh, keeping them for meat. Uh, some statistics are pretty interesting. One adult female can give birth to eight kits every 45 days. That's actually 64 rabbits and a total live weight of 320 pounds of meat per year. This is, that's just amazing. It, it blows away beef production uh, by a lot. So, I mean, just the fact of having rabbits for meat is, is a huge, huge benefit. And they're quiet, they're clean. You can keep them in a, in a garage and people don't even need to know they're there. Uh, it's, it's, they're really easy to take care of. Also, the USDA even says that rabbits are not a farm animal. 
So you can keep them in, in places that even have crazy controlling homeowners associations or anything like that because they're not like chickens. They're not like goats or cows. They are not considered farm animals. Another side benefit of raising rabbits is the fact that their waste is absolutely gonna be gold in your garden. You can use it to compost up, put it right into the ground. It's actually not considered a hot fertilizer, so you don't have to compost it. You can put it directly into the ground and it will benefit your plants and ultimately you. Another thing dealing with rabbits is you don't have to pay out your nose for their feed. We actually grow our own feed. We give them wheatgrass. And I'll show you a little, a few images of that, but I also have other videos where you can see how we put our wheatgrass system together. But that really comprises most of their diet. They are, stay super healthy, and uh, it costs us literally pennies to feed these guys. Well, there it is. That's our, our setup for our rabbits. And uh, once again, it did not cost us that much money to put it together. It really was only the uh, cost of the shingles and some fasteners. Um, the cages we did have to put a little bit of money in. I think we've got about $60 in the cages. Uh, and, but overall, when you're talking about how much meat, how much protein you're gonna get out of these animals, it's really, really a great ROI, your return on investment. And so I would highly recommend it if you do not have rabbits that you consider it for your protein needs on your farm, homestead, wherever. Uh, it's, it's a great way to get some, some high quality food to your family very, very affordably. So if you like the video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Let your friends know. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. It does help our family out. I am Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.